Hey Kidaroonies, welcome to A Look Back, where we return to some stuff that we grew up with and determine if it holds up today. For our first episode, we're talking about Happy Tree Friends, arguably one of the most iconic, impactful, and deranged web animations of all time. We'll be covering the history and content of this strange little web series, and by the end of this episode, we're going to answer two questions. Does it hold up today, and did I enjoy revisiting it? Alright, without further ado, let's begin. <laughs> Happy Tree Friends was created by Aubrey and Grim Ro Mahio and Kenovaro where they're working for Mondo Media, an online animation company. Eventually, it was greenlit by the company's executives, and the first episode of Happy Tree Friends was released onto the internet in 1999. Since then, it has gained an unbelievable amount of success, with its most popular video having over 100 million views. Wow! Who knew the key to success is brutally mutilating a bunch of cartoon animals? Now, Mondo Media has other series that sure do exist, but it's glaringly obvious that Happy Tree Friends is its real shining star. Throughout its life, it has made many accomplishments like spawning a TV show, selling tons of merchandise, getting a few spin-offs, and even creating a music video for Fall Out Boy. Unfortunately, no new episodes were made since 2016, leading most to believe that the show has ended. So each episode begins with this absolute banger of an intro that perfectly captures the essence of Happy Tree Friends. You know, every time you hear that friendly little tune, you know that you're about to enter hell and there's no going back. Despite its cute exterior, Happy Tree Friends is an incredibly violent show, and I'm not talking about your basic great value slapstick violence. <coughs> this is premium violence. The gore is extremely graphic, and there's a lot of it. Now, I can handle gore, but sometimes this show can be so mean-spirited and disgusting that even I can't find it entertaining. For instance, there's a scene where a character named Sniffles gets his fingernail ripped off by ants and a salt shaken onto the wound. Why? Why would you animate that? Why would you even conceptualize that? Obviously, a big selling point of this show is the shock value, which for me, kind of gets old over time. It follows a very repetitive formula of characters do normal things, but things go wrong and then they die. Which isn't to say that the shock value is the only value to show, because at times, happy tree friends can be genuinely funny. There's one scene where the character Lumpy tries to find a place to put his foot, but the entire area is covered with nonsensical hazards. Surprisingly, he manages to avoid all of them, only to end up tripping backwards and snapping his spine. Now, it could just be because my sense of humor is as broken as Lumpy's back, but I find moments like these ridiculously funny. When this show subverts the expectations of its audience, it proves that's a lot more intelligent and self-aware than people give it credit for. As for the cast, they're... okay. Obviously, these are not the most fleshed out characters in the world, but for a show like this, I think that's fine. I mean, come on, this is Happy Tree Friends, not Breaking Bad. It's not exactly a character-driven show, it's more of a character-dying show. The characters are fairly memorable and entertaining, and there's enough of them to keep the show fresh, so they get a pass from me. Some of the most noteworthy of these unfortunate bastards include Cuddles, a rabbit who wears bunny slippers, isn't that adorable? Aww. Lumpy, who has the intelligence of your average Imagine Dragons fan. Handy, my personal favorite character solely because of how sociopathic he is. <laughs> I also like his running gag where he angrily stares into the camera whenever something annoying happens to him usually due to his lack of hands. And of course, Flippy, a war veteran with PTSD who is beloved by edgy 12-year-olds everywhere. You know, now that I think about it, there's a lot to enjoy about Happy Tree Friends. The animation is great, especially in the later episodes, and the vibrant art style and character designs are actually really visually appealing. Even the music's good. Also, the fact that this has zero dialogue other than a few mumbles that occasionally resemble words is super impressive. You don't see a lot of cartoons do that nowadays. However, despite its positives, it's still not a particularly exciting show to watch overall, and most of the time there aren't really any episodes that stand out. However, there are episodes I'm fond of. My favorite is Donate My Chain, where Handy the Mole escaped prison after being falsely accused of trying to steal a car. It was surprisingly wholesome seeing Handy and the Moe, the only two characters in the show with physical disabilities, working together. Even if it doesn't end very well. I'm also a fan of the two-part double whammy, where Flippy seeks therapy and tries to cure his PTSD. And let me tell you, when Flippy finally conquers his PTSD, I had the biggest smile on my face. 
until he gets run over by a truck. <sighs> but like I said, while there are aspects of the show that are fantastic, the show itself is quite repetitive and at times can definitely fall into the category of mindless edgy nonsense. I mean, don't get me wrong, Happy Tree Friends is definitely fun, but if you're looking to binge watch an entire series, this is not the show for you. Either way, I still feel like Happy Tree Friends is an interesting watch and absolutely deserves its status as a YouTube classic. 7 out of 10. Alright, now it's time to answer the big questions. Does it hold up today? Yeah. Nothing about this show is really aged. It's still entertaining and well animated. But did I enjoy revisiting it? Yeah, it was very fun to revisit the absolute chaos that is Happy Tree Friends. But what do you think? Is Happy Tree Friends a funny internet classic or a disgusting abomination? Leave it in the comments. Well, that's it. Goodbye. <laughs>